Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to provide a short demonstration of how to generate a confidence interval around a sample mean using SPSS. Now before we get started let me note that underneath the video description you will find a link to this SPSS data file. It contains two variables student achievement and student interest and each of those variables have uh, 10 observations each. So uh, what we're going to do first is to generate a 95% confidence interval around the mean for achievement and then we're going to generate a 90% confidence interval around the mean for interest. Now I do want to mention that it's generally would be unusual for a researcher to generate uh, confidence intervals of different widths uh, for different variables in the data set. However, I'm doing this just to show you how to reset the confidence interval width if you want to do so. So we're going to start off by generating a 95% confidence interval for the achievement variable. We do that by going up to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then going down to Explore. Next we'll move Achievement over to the Dependent List where it says Statistics. We'll click on that tab. You'll see that uh, Descriptives is already checked and then underneath it says Confidence Interval for Mean and that's set at 95%. So that's the default uh, confidence interval that's going to be generated. So we're going to click on continue and then on OK and we get our output. So you can see we have our sample mean which is 4.2 for our, our variable. And just keep in mind that our sample mean is a point estimate for the population mean. Next you can see we have our 95% confidence interval and we have the lower bound and the upper bound for that interval estimate. Now importantly we do not interpret this interval estimate to mean that there's a 95% chance that the true population mean falls between 3.0918 and 5.3082 which is the lower and the upper bound. Rather that we, we interpret this to mean that there is a 95% uh, probability that this interval is one of 95% of all possible intervals that would overlap with the true population mean. So by that logic, if I was to take, uh, let's say if I was to generate 100 random samples uh, from a population and compute 95% confidence intervals for all of those uh, sample means for those for those samples, um, then I would expect that 95 of those uh, of those confidence intervals would overlap with the true population mean. Okay, so now let's go and create our 90% confidence interval around our interest variable. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll go back to Analyze, we'll go to Descriptive Statistics, and then go down to Explore again. We're going to move Achievement back out and then move the interest variable uh, into the dependent list. Under Statistics, we're going to uh, now change our confidence interval width, so I'm just going to highlight this and type in 90, and then click on Continue, and then on OK. And so now you can see uh, that, you know, again, we have our sample mean. In this case, for this variable, it's 15.9. And then you can see it says 90% confidence interval for mean. So the lower bound is 14.3921. The upper bound is 17.4079. And again, let me just kind of keep in mind or reiterate that this does not mean that there's a 90% chance that the true population mean falls between the 14.39 and 17.4079. Uh, what it does mean is that there's a 90% chance that the interval that I'm forming uh, around my sample mean overlaps with the true population mean. So that's basically all there is to it to generating uh, confidence intervals around sample means using SPSS. Thank you for watching.